Hey everyone, check it out. I just picked up this brand new XK Glow Dome Light uh, Bluetooth multicolor LED replacement. Um, should go in pretty quickly. I've used XK Glow stuff before. I got like the headlights in the car and uh, picked this up. I wanted to try it out because I got a gift card for Amazon and these are sold on Amazon now. I think it was like 30 bucks. Sometimes they're on sale for 25. But you get your little light there. It comes with all your adapters for different dome lights. I need this one because I'm going to put it in the center one. So basically I shouldn't really need any tools because the dome light cover should just pop out. Might need like a key or something small like that. But uh, let's get in here and uh, show you what I'm working with. So here is the old dome light. I have a blue LED in there. It's kind of looking purple on the screen here, but it's it's blue. Oh, yeah, it is looking purple. But anyway, so, you know, it's, it's pretty bright, but the issue is, is if I need to like search for something, blue is not the best. So, um, there's also some cool features. Ah, so I am gonna need probably a small flathead to pop that out. Um, once I pop this cover off, it should be fairly straightforward. Um, just gotta kinda get that off first so we know what we're working with. So I actually have a small little Allen key. It can pop right up in here where these tabs are. I can try to get both of them out. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. So now the old bulb is out. Well, it's open. So that's what we're working with here. So see this, this will just pop out. And what I'm gonna have to do is get the adapter in there and then try to figure out if I can attach uh, the new one to the adapter itself or if I'm gonna have to try to like stick it here or, or somewhere to get it to glow. So I have to play around with the fitment a little bit. Got, so you got all your adapters here, but I need this one. So basically this guy will just pop it in here like so. Open that up a little bit. Yeah, now it's tight. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to test it to see um, where the best fitment for this would be. I guess ideally I could put it like that. It's not a lot to stick to and there's components there. Or I can try to put it here, but I would like it to shine down. I don't know if it'll stick to the spring there. Let's try some stuff out here, let me real quick. And All right, so after some playing around, I was able to fit it up on the side and uh, it's pretty bright. So let me uh, let me grab my uh, other phone that I have the app on, and uh, we can try it out. <clears throat> All right. So you're gonna need to download the app, and it's this little XK Chrome. Tap that guy. Pull up this up here. You're in the bars. If it doesn't pop up right away to sync, if you're not using it like the first time, you go other stuff. And there we go. We got um, we got the front connected, and then it's showing two unpaired. I don't know why it's showing two. Someone else might have this. That's weird. Get it close to it. Boom. Now we're paired. Don't use it on the road. So there we go. So now you see we got pink. We picked pink. Go through, change all the colors around, do all that stuff. White, blue. Now, what is important is if you go to the app here, see the little plus? If you hit that, right here is your default. So you can go through, pick different colors, whatever you pick, whether you're going through here or making it, 
You can go and make it strobe and make it go fast. So whatever you're making it do, you gotta come here and set as default. So then you can have a startup theme. So anytime it's powered on, that, that's what we would do. I'll show you here real quick. We'll uh, turn it off, turn it back on, instantly comes the strobe. So, you know, if you want it to be blue or purple or pink or any of that stuff, um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go in and, you know, you can add favorites, all that stuff, and set as default and uh, as your startup. So anytime my car comes on, it'll be like that color purple. Um, actually, let me, uh, it's not showing this one. I gotta get, these are the headlights. I wanna get, I wanna set up the headlights real quick. Okay, so I went and paired my headlights. Now my headlights have two zones. So as you can see now, I've got three separate zones that I can control. Let me turn off some lights here. And uh, if you overlap stuff, It'll, uh, it should disappear, I believe. Somehow I can't remember how to do it. But, uh, so as you can see, I, I can go in here. I don't remember how I can get them to overlap. But, uh, so you can see I can go through, change all three zones separate. And, uh, Normally I can link them up. If you overlap them, there's a way you can pair them. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Show you how to pair them. Unless they got rid of that feature. Hmm. And see, then you can shut off zones individually here. So two and three. Hmm, weird. Can I put two and three together? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with... Normally you can overlap the numbers and then it would pair them, but it's weird. Maybe because there's now two devices that can't do that and everything has to be individual, which is weird. But then you can do stuff like there's more stuff on the app to go through and that. But that's that's not the important part. You see, I can go. Oh, see, there we go. See, now they're all doing the red and yellow strobing. Yeah, we can do. Let's do emergency. See, so they'll all link together. I just can't remember how to do it on the main page here. Normally, you used to just overlap them, but under the themes. You know, you, you can go in and like, you can hit new and make your own themes and colors and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, it was fairly simple install. We'll go back to solid colors and just make everything blue here. But uh, so that's basically it. You can go ahead and link probably as many as you want. I don't know if there's a max set on the uh, controller or on the app. I don't know how many you could actually put into the app, but um, on this car, you figure if I would do both map lights and the dome, that's three units. That's it's like 90 bucks just to do it. But I wanted to try the dome light um, just because I thought it'd be cool. Um, might do the dome lights because I got to redo the map lights anyway, um, just to do all of them. It'd be kind of cool to have that function. And uh, so I might just watch in case any go on sale, I'll be able to just buy two of them cheaper than just buying a single one off sale. Um, but uh, that's basically it. Real quick, easy install. I do got to note that that one adapter that I use that goes apart, um, that's kind of cheap. I think it's just a generic adapter that they use. And when I was using it, the wires actually pulled out. So I had to like take them apart and put it back together, um, which was kind of annoying. But the other adapters, they look more beefy. I don't know why that one was maybe got damaged in shipping or I don't know. But uh, for the most part, real easy install. Don't need any tools really. Just need to pop the lenses off, replace the bulbs, use the sticky tape that they give you and find somewhere to put it. Really easy install. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, until next time, like and subscribe.